Joe Polniatsek from The Facts of Life or Inspector Ginny, Exted from The Division? Which character do you think captured more hearts? Well, here's a hint. Joe was the tough motorcycle-riding tomboy, resonating with audiences for her relatable struggles and fierce loyalty during the peak TV era of the 80s. On the other hand, Inspector Ginny Exted battled her demons while solving crimes in the early 2000s, bringing a new level of depth to female detective roles. So, which role do you think made Nancy McKeon a household name? I'll give you the answer in the next few minutes. Meanwhile, her older brother Philip was charming millions as Tommy Hyatt in the hit sitcom Alice, showcasing a talent that was both unique and enthralling. Yet, behind the cameras, their bond was even more profound, woven with support, admiration, and an unbreakable connection that would eventually face the ultimate test, early life and bonding. Nancy McKeon and her brother Philip grew up in Westbury, New York, far from the bright lights of Hollywood. Their father, Donald McKeon, was a travel agent who often shared exciting stories about distant places and different cultures. These stories made the kids curious about the world beyond their quiet suburban life. Their mother, Barbara, took care of the home, making sure it was a stable and supportive place for them to grow up. This mix of a loving home and the exciting stories from their dad helped grow their imagination and dreams. Both parents played a big role in encouraging Nancy and Philip's early interest in the arts. Their dad's tales inspired them, and their mom supported their creative activities. The children started their journey in entertainment with commercial modeling. This early work in front of the camera was more than just a job. It was an important learning experience and the first step towards acting. It taught them how to be professional and disciplined, important skills for their later careers in the tough world of acting. Nancy and Philip's upbringing in the suburbs gave them a unique advantage. They had a close family and a stable home life, which many in their industry didn't have. This strong foundation helped them handle the unpredictable nature of show business with confidence and a sense of normalcy. Furthermore, the contrast between their simple home life and the glamour of Hollywood kept them grounded. They didn't get swept away by early fame. Instead, they focused on improving their skills and following their passions with real enthusiasm and a balanced outlook. This upbringing made sure they stayed down-to-earth and friendly, qualities that made them beloved by audiences and co-workers alike. So, in their regular family home in New York with the backing of their parents, Nancy and Philip McKeon's futures in acting began to take shape. They grew up with a good balance of a supportive family and early fame, helping them stay humble and driven. From a tender age, Nancy and Philip were thrust into the spotlight. Philip, the elder of the two, made his first foray into the world of commercials at just four years old. Nancy was not far behind, securing her first modeling gigs by the age of two. This early exposure to the entertainment industry offered them exhilarating opportunities, but also exposed them to the typical pressures that child actors often face. As they matured, so did their careers. By the age of 12, Philip had landed a defining role on the popular sitcom, Alice, where he played the son of the titular character. His portrayal of Tommy Hyatt won the hearts of viewers nationwide, making him a familiar and cherished figure in households across America. Meanwhile, Nancy's breakout moment came with her role in The Facts of Life, following a series of guest appearances on shows like Starsky and Hutch and The Love Boat. Her character, Joe Polniacek, with her tough exterior and warm heart, became a role model for young girls and solidified Nancy's status as a key figure in the realm of teen television. Despite the demands of their burgeoning careers, the bond between Nancy and Philip only grew stronger. They supported each other through the ups and downs of early fame, tackling the unique challenges of growing up in the public eye with mutual understanding and unwavering support. On tough days on set or during personal milestones, they stood by each other, truly embodying the role of each other's biggest cheerleaders. This connection, forged amid the chaotic pace of show business, transcended the usual sibling relationship. It was characterized by deep mutual understanding, respect, and an unspoken commitment to always be there for each other. In an industry often marked by fleeting connections, Nancy and Philip didn't just see each other as siblings, they were lifelong friends. 
This profound relationship not only sustained them during their early careers, but also provided a foundation of support and love that they could always rely on, no matter the circumstances. Their story is a testament to the power of familial bonds in providing stability and support, even in the most glamorous and unpredictable of industries. As Nancy and Philip navigated their paths to stardom, they demonstrated that the strongest connections are those rooted in genuine love and understanding, qualities that they continually nurtured throughout their lives. Philip McKeon's Career and Challenges Philip first won the hearts of American audiences in the late 1970s when he starred as Tommy Hyatt in the hit sitcom Alice. Playing the witty and endearing son of a single mom who works as a diner waitress, Philip brought humor and sincerity to the screen. His character navigated the challenges of youth with a mix of mischief and maturity. It then quickly became a fan favorite and secured his status as a beloved figure in American TV. Over nine seasons, Alice showcased Philip's acting range as he portrayed Tommy Hyatt's growth from a clever boy to a thoughtful teenager. This on-screen development mirrored Philip's own growth from childhood to adolescence, unfolding in front of millions. The long-term stability of his role on Alice was unusual for child actors, who often see their careers ebb and flow unpredictably. As Tommy Hyatt, Philip entertained but also explored themes important to single-parent families, subtly teaching viewers about the dynamics and complexities of such households. His interactions with his on-screen mom, played by Linda Lavin, and the diner staff provided humor and heartfelt moments that connected with a wide audience. Philip's role did more than entertain. It demonstrated the potential and reality of child actors transitioning into mature roles successfully. His seamless growth on the show mirrored his character's coming of age, anchoring his career in the entertainment industry and providing a foundation for future endeavors. Throughout his time on Alice, Philip became a familiar presence in American homes. His performance is a regular part of the show's success. His professionalism and charm were often praised by co-stars and producers. Despite the pressures of childhood fame, Philip maintained a performance level beyond his years, endearing him to viewers and colleagues alike. However, transitioning from a child star to an adult actor is rarely easy, and Philip faced challenges as Alice ended. He took on roles in TV movies and guest spots on various shows through the 1980s and 1990s. Despite his talent and efforts to diversify his acting roles, finding parts that matched his early success was difficult. Many child actors struggled to adapt to adult roles because of shifting public perceptions and the fast-paced nature of the industry. For Philip, this meant walking a path of uncertainty and reinvention. Beyond acting, Philip explored other interests and professional opportunities. He worked in radio and even directed a Texas-based radio station, showing his versatility and willingness to evolve beyond his established acting persona. Despite challenges, Philip McKeon's career is a testament to his resilience and adaptability. His journey through the highs and lows of the entertainment industry not only highlights the challenges faced by child stars, but also their capacity to redefine themselves when the spotlight shifts. As Philip navigated his career, Nancy carved out her own niche, facing unique challenges. Together, they supported each other's endeavors, showing that their sibling bond was foundational to their strength, both on and off the screen. Nancy McKeon's Career while Philip was charming audiences on Alice, his younger sister Nancy was carving her own niche in the world of television. Nancy McKeon captured the hearts of viewers as Joe Polniacek on the groundbreaking series The Facts of Life. Her portrayal of Joe, a tough, street-smart girl from the Bronx, not only challenged typical gender norms, it also provided a new kind of role model for young girls everywhere. Nancy's role in The Facts of Life was more than just a job, it was a cultural statement. Joe Polniacek's character brought a new dimension to television screens. It blended toughness with vulnerability in a way that was both relatable and inspiring. This role not only defined Nancy's career, but also left a lasting impact on popular culture. Critics and co-stars alike praised Nancy for her depth and versatility, 
These attributes allowed her to stand out in a talented ensemble cast. Her performance earned her critical acclaim and several awards. It cemented her place as a respected figure in television history. Off-screen, Nancy's bond with her brother Philip was a source of strength and inspiration. Philip's early success in Alice motivated Nancy to pursue her acting career with vigor. As both siblings dealt with the pressures of Hollywood, they depended on each other's support to handle the many challenges of the entertainment industry. Nancy often credits Philip with influencing her career choices. His guidance and advice helped her make crucial decisions at pivotal moments. This is from choosing roles to handling the spotlight. Philip's belief in Nancy's talents was unwavering, and his support was a key factor in her continued success. After The Facts of Life, Nancy continued to work in television, taking on roles that challenged her and allowed her to grow as an actress. Her later work includes roles in police dramas and made-for-TV movies. It is where she continued to showcase her range and commitment to powerful storytelling. Philip's illness and passing. Philip McKeon's charismatic on-screen presence contrasted with the personal struggles he endured privately. In his later years, Philip faced a long illness that ultimately claimed his life in December 2019. The details of his illness remain private out of respect for him and his family. This period tested both the strength of family ties and human resilience. Throughout his illness, his sister Nancy McKeon was his rock. More than just a sibling, she was his confidant, caregiver, and greatest supporter. Nancy's commitment during his health struggles highlighted their deep sibling bond. Nancy's unwavering dedication to Philip was evident. She adjusted her schedule to meet his needs, ensuring she was always there for him. This period showcased not only her love and dedication, but also her capacity to handle adversity gracefully. Every day, Nancy helped Philip both emotionally and practically, she worked closely with doctors to make sure he got the best care possible and took an active part in his daily treatments, showing her deep care for him. Nancy also did a lot to keep Philip happy during his sickness. She set up get-togethers with friends and family, which made Philip happy and reminded him of good times they had shared. Nancy also worked to help people learn about the illness Philip had by raising money and telling people about it. Even though the details of the illness are private, her actions showed how much she loved her brother. They also helped her connect with others who have similar problems, making an even bigger impact. This time of taking care of Philip showed new sides of Nancy's personality. It showed her ability to deal with tough situations and help others beyond her own family. Her efforts during Philip's illness and after he passed away demonstrate her strength and caring nature. Additionally, they show her dedication to her family and the broader community coping with grief. Nancy McKeon faced a big challenge when her brother Philip passed away. This tough time showed how strong she was, both in how she shared her feelings with the world and in her private moments. Her journey through grief showed her courage and how much she loved her brother. Her approach to coping was multifaceted, blending public tributes with deeply personal acts of remembrance. Nancy openly shared her feelings about her brother in interviews and on social media, creating a space where fans and followers could join in commemorating Philip. These public expressions of grief helped others who were also dealing with loss, fostering a sense of shared community. Publicly, Nancy was very open about her feelings. She talked about Philip's life and all the good times they had using social media, interviews, and events to remember him. These actions help not just her, but also others who loved Philip feel connected and supported. Nancy's willingness to share her sadness helped create a community. In this community, everyone could share their feelings and find comfort together. In private, Nancy found comfort in doing things that she and Philip both loved. She visited places they liked, did hobbies they enjoyed together, and spent time thinking and writing about him. These quiet activities helped her deal with her grief in her own way, away from everyone else. By engaging in these personal rituals, she kept her connection to Philip alive, blending memories of the past with her present experiences. This balance of public and private mourning has allowed Nancy to process her grief, while also helping others do the same. Nancy also had a lot of support from her family and friends during this hard time. 
This included people from the entertainment industry who were close to her and gave her emotional support when she needed it most. Her friends and family were very important in helping her handle her sadness, offering comfort and understanding. Additionally, Nancy joined groups and worked on projects related to the illness that Philip had. By connecting with others who had similar experiences, Nancy found more support. This helped her get comfort and support from others. It made her a source of strength and hope in her community. Through all these efforts, Nancy McKeon showed how one can handle deep sadness with grace and strength. Her actions and resilience continue to inspire those around her, showing how to deal with big losses bravely. Nancy Today After her brother Philip McKeon passed away, Nancy McKeon has found special ways to remember him and share his story with others. She talks about Philip a lot, sharing stories about him in public. This helps keep his memory alive and supports others who are also feeling sad about losing someone they love. Nancy has also set up funds in Philip's name. These funds help support research and give help to people who are fighting the same illness Philip did. These efforts make sure that Philip's memory brings good changes and helps others. In her personal life, Nancy keeps doing things that remind her of Philip. She dedicates her performances to him, visits place they both liked, and keeps up traditions they enjoyed together. These personal acts help her feel close to Philip while she moves on with her life. Moreover, Nancy has built a community around the legacy of her brother, connecting with others who have experienced similar losses. Through social media platforms and public appearances, she fosters a network of support that not only remembers Philip, but also aids others in their grief. This community engagement emphasizes the power of shared experiences and collective memory, reinforcing the impact one individual can have on the lives of many. Life and career after loss Losing her brother really changed Nancy's life and work. Since Philip passed away, Nancy has chosen roles and started projects that show how she has dealt with her grief and healing. These choices show her strength and how much her brother's life has affected her own. A touching example is her role in the drama series Afterlight. Here, Nancy plays Elizabeth Monroe, a woman who faces the tough time of losing her sibling suddenly. Her acting is not just pretending. It's a real show of her own sadness, filled with the feelings she has gone through. People have praised her for how real and deep her acting is, and it has touched viewers who have felt similar sadness. In interviews, Nancy talked about how playing this role was hard, but also helped her deal with her feelings. She puts her own loss into her character, making Elizabeth's story very much like her own, a story many people can connect with. This role, among others, shows how her own experiences have made her acting stronger and given more depth to her characters. Besides TV, Nancy has also done theater shows that talk about family, memories, and being strong. Her acting on stage is known for being very powerful and emotional. She often uses her own feelings and experiences to make her performances even more touching. Nancy also helps out in the community, talking about how to deal with sadness and the importance of mental health. These efforts are not just helpful for others, but are also a way for her to heal. Nancy also supports mental health by working with groups that help people who are sad. She talks a lot about how important it is to have support and to talk openly about loss, because that can really help people feel better. Through her different roles and by talking to the public, Nancy McKeon keeps inspiring and helping people. Her path after losing her brother shows how personal pain can turn into powerful stories and meaningful actions. It touches others' lives while also helping her own healing. In every role she plays and every story she tells, Nancy brings a part of Philip's legacy. This shows that even in tough times there is hope, strength, and a chance for new beginnings. Message of Hope and Resilience Nancy has turned into a symbol of hope and strength as she works through her own loss. She shares a message of bravery and sticking together with others who are also grieving. Nancy encourages people to not keep their sadness inside, but to talk about it and to find support in community. She uses her own experiences to inspire others to seek help and not go through tough times alone. 
Nancy is very active in promoting mental health awareness. She points out how crucial it is to discuss our feelings of grief and how much support from others can help us heal. Her actions and words show that even the hardest personal losses can lead to powerful messages of hope. By continuing to honor her brother's memory, she not only keeps his legacy alive, but also helps others who are facing similar challenges. Nancy's journey shows that sadness can lead to growth, understanding, and a new sense of purpose. Her personal story, closely linked with her brother's, keeps inspiring and connecting with people who hear it. She proves that through sharing our stories and experiences, we can help each other find the way forward. In every step she takes, Nancy demonstrates that it's okay to feel sad and that talking about our loss can lead to healing. She reminds us that we're not alone in our feelings of grief and that together we can find the strength to move on. Her commitment to helping others through their grief by using her own story as an example makes her a beacon of hope for many.